Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we created the transport request, we created the package, we stored the program into the package and then we took two select options, one for the date and one for the user name. Now we will proceed from here. Now, if we will see the functional specification document, if I will run first, whatever we prepared, you can see we have two select option or we can say two inputs, one for the created on, one for the created by. If you see in case of creation date, we have low value, high value, but there is no multiple selection button required. It means we require this, we require this, but we do not require this. And we all know whenever we want to hide this multiple selection button, what is the keyword we need to use? We need to use no extension. Now, if I will come on to next one, as for sales order created by, we only require low value. It means we need to hide this high also. We need to hide this multiple selection also for the created by. And we all know whenever we want to hide this high, we have to use the keyword no intervals. So for the created on, we will use the keyword no extension. For the created by, we will use no interval, no extension. So I will go for this and I will use the keywords. So firstly, for the S underscore ER date, means creation date, I will use no extension. And for this username miscreated by, I will write no intervals and I will write no extension. I will apply pretty printer. I will check the syntax and activate. If I will run the program, now you can see multiple selection button is not there for created on and high range and multiple selection is not there for created by. Now we will continue again and we will see the next thing. If you see for the creation date, we are getting this icon. If you see, we are getting this specific icon, specific icon. It means it is a mandatory field on the input screen. If you see, for created by, you are not able to see this icon. It means creation date is compulsory on the screen. It is a mandatory field on the input screen. And we all know whenever we want to make a select option or parameter mandatory, we need to use the keyword obligatory. If you see as of now that icon is not coming, so for the created on, for the created on, I will use the keyword obligatory. Now I will check the syntax and activate. Now if I will run, you can see the output. We are getting this icon. It means it is a mandatory field on the screen. In the future, whenever I will run the program, Without giving the input of created on, I will simply get a error, fill the required entry fields. Now we will proceed from here. If you see as a part of selection screen or input screen, what is the title? SO details ALV interactive report. We gave sales order report. Suppose the many people ask if by mistake they gave the wrong title to the program, 
is there any provision to change the title of the program yes you can change the title of the program suppose as of now i gave sales order report if i want to change so how i can change i will simply simply go for go to attributes and here i gave sales order report suppose i will make it same to same so i will give S O details, and you can write ALV interactive report. So, whenever if you give a wrong title and if you want to change in the future, you can change in this way go to attributes of the program. Now, you can see our title changed. Now we will simply compare it to the requirement. SO details, ALV interactive report. Okay. Execute button. Yes, we have the execute button. Now, if you see SO creation date and SO created by, yes, created on created by is there. We can change the label also if you want. Yes. Now, for this created, created on, we do not have multiple selection button. Yes, that is required. For the created by, we do not have a high and multiple selection. Yes, that is required. Now, next thing. Just see, we require this block. Have you seen? We are able to see a specific block, specific block. Inside this block, we have creation date and created by. And if you see, we have a title to the block also, selection criteria. If you see our program, as of now, that block is not visible. And that title is also not there for the block. So now we will also see how to create this selection screen block or input screen block and this part is covered in a back programming also but here we will cover because it is our project to work so how i will create a selection screen block now i will go for a keyword the keyword is selection screen the keyword is selection screen now I will give the begin of block. What is the syntax? Begin of block. I am creating a selection screen block. Give some name to the block. Suppose I gave B1. You can give any name. It is totally, totally your wish. So we have start of the block. Now we will end the block also. So I will write selection screen and now i will end the block end of block b1 so in between this starting and end of the block we have two select option one for the creation date one for the created by or we can say username i will check the syntax and i will activate Whenever I will run the program, you can see I gave the block, but still the block is not visible. How, how it will be visible? Whenever I will give the title to the block. So how I will give the title to the block? I will simply use the keyword with frame title. We have the keyword with frame title. Now, we should never, never hard code the title in one language. I cannot write the title in such a way. See, we have the title is selection criteria. I can give in English language selection criteria, but it will be hard code in one language. We cover so many times, we should never, never hard code if you see the instruction document also, it is clearly mentioned, do not hard code, use text symbols. 
So we should always, always use text symbol because we can translate that text symbol into multiple languages. So rather than hard coding here and giving selection criteria here in English language, I will give with the help of text symbol. So I'm writing text hyphen zero zero zero. We all know every text symbol is of three digit number. Now I will create this text symbol. But I double clicked. It is asking, do you want to create? Yes, I want to create. Now I will give zero zero zero. But 000 stands for selection criteria. Now I will simply activate this particular thing. Do not forget to activate as changes will not reflect. Now I will activate the program also. Now if I will show you the output, you can see we have block is clearly visible. And what is the title to the block selection criteria? And just see now everything is same to same which customer required. Title is there, block is there, block title is there. We have high, low and high for created on and only low for the created by and this same to same selection screen or input screen is ready. So what is the summary of the last two videos? In the last two videos, yes, we created the package, we created the transport request, but always, always remember package, there's no need to create every time. Transport request, yes, because we need to send the objects to quality and production, yes. But package creation is one time activity because we can store any number of objects into that package. After that, we created the program. We stored the program into the package. Yes. And after that, yes, we took two select option, one for the date, one for the username. We created the selection screen block we gave the title to the blog using text symbol. Now in the next video, we will start with the logic part. We will fetch the data, we will write the logic to fetch the data from the tables. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.